Hi everyone. I've been asked to, or if you want to know how the AI works, um, so let me just show you a little bit of information on that. Okay, so what I've done is I've loaded a Powerball history file, which basically is a machine, basically draws uh, one to six, six balls, um, which is a range from one to 40, um, and then draws a Powerball, which ranges from one to 20. Okay, so I've just loaded that machine. There's no stacks or anything loaded. What I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on the machine and I'm going to click Start AI Life Form. And you'll see it's running there. Um, now we wonder, what is it doing? Okay, now let's go have a look. In your One Hunter directory where it's installed, you'll see under the plugins folder, there's a shared folder and there's an AI folder. Now, in the AI folder, you'll see a whole lot of files being created. Now, what these are, are is, is some stacks that the AI is generating uh, based on different uh, processes and different information. So, what you can do is go to one of your machines, just right click, let's go load a stack, let's go to your plugins, shared. AI folder and you'll see a whole lot of them. So just, just click on one, um, let's open it and then yeah, we got a plugin which is basically previous drawings. Let's go load another one. Um, let's open that one, let's see what that is. Um, that is perky size. Um, as you can see, just random different ones. So let's go see what, let's just stop the AI life form and then go to what the outcome of this is. So let's go run tests. And as you can see, it's basically done some predictions. Um, 39 and it's got six of six, which is okay, not too great. And let's go have a look at this one and go run tests. Um, and then you can scroll down and then you see this is 39, six of six. Um, and this is a 1 to 45 lottery, which is not bad. Okay, so now you want to go and fix the stack to give you a better prediction outcome. So let's go and first let's change the output. Uh, jackpot cutoff. So let's say we want to get 20 balls. Let's give us the top 20 balls. That's fine. So if I go there and go run tests. Um, it's all got that. So let's go to our selector, change our selector. Let's give it some um, high-low average inversion. Uh, view settings, we can change that uh, to give us different results. And then go run tests. And you'll see your, your results start changing. Um, let's go edit your perky size and start changing that. And then you see, as you start changing your settings and playing around with it, you start getting different predictions. Um, let's go to a filter again, view settings. Let's change this to zero. Drawings to use, make use the 50 last drawings. I'm gonna change that. We can change that. And we make it zero, apply, and run tests, and you're getting different results. So let's go and mess around with the stack and see what different results you get. Um, the best is actually just to use WinHunter, um, go through different options uh, and click. And then also what I do is go view settings. I say stop at drawing 10. So it only uses the last 10 drawings, which makes WinHunter itself run a lot quicker. So um, I also use a use price tier method. What this does it gives you different um, settings that it uses in different outcomes. So 
at the moment it's just busy, it's just busy running um, and you'll see after a while you'll, you'll have different um, passes or information uh, appear. Um, it will tell you the number amount of picks, which is basically how many balls it picked um, and the best hits it had in those picks. And if you go to optimize the setup, you can see all the numbers are being increased and decreased there. Um, it does take a while, but it could be worth it. So let's go back to this one. Let's cut off a 10 and see what difference it makes. And just start playing around with the settings. Let's go and select six. And let's just go and change a few more things. And then subtractive is a version low. Let's just change. This selected to zero scope, and let's see what difference that makes. When to select, let's make that one. And then you can see it's changed, it's only selected one ball. So let's change that to minimum to select to make that six. And let's just see what results we get. And there we go. We've got given us six, it's two of two, three, uh, six, there's two of that. So let's just scroll back. And then we can look at the history. And then they gave us 24, and that was a jackpot. They gave us 24, and that was a jackpot. Um, and so it goes on. Um, let's, because uh, so we're having a bit more success with this one. So let's go back to this filter. View settings. I mean, change previous drawings to, to one. Um, previous weight, I'm going to make that minus 10. Don't worry about the compound. Let's just click on that. What I'm going to do is view settings, stop at drawing 10, because I want it to run through pretty fast. Um, go to the filter, let's run when hunted with that settings. Um, go to those um, previous drawings. I'm just going to set it to 50 because we want it to run quite fast. You can increase it, it's just going to take longer, but you might have some better success with that. Um, drawings, let's go to a filter setup. Um, drawings you use 40, that's fine. So let's go back to save results, use price tier method as explained earlier, and run. There we go. Now we're getting a whole lot of different outputs. So basically, um, this tier, we've got tier five, which means it predicted five numbers. Um, and, and it gave us 25 predictions, and that happened 2%, um, which is pretty good considering we have a group of 10. So I can just double click, oh, there we go. Uh, let's double click that, load that stack. It appears there. We can run the test there now, and you'll see there's 26, it gave me six or six. And then we go re reduce the amount of balls that it's giving you prediction. And then you can play around and do whatever you need to, to increase that and just play around with different filters, add different filter groups and so on. Well, happy hunting and hopefully it's some better success. Thank you. Cheers. Bye.